Oh yeah, you see that? Sunshine. You see that? Mainsail. We're going sailing. Finally, just a short sail today, but we are on our way back over to Shelter Bay. So we're gonna get set up there and in the hopes that we're going to retrieve our electric propulsion system for the dinghy tomorrow. So just doing last checks around the boat. The engine is about to be started. Sail is up, as you can see. And everything else is checked. Had to lubricate the mainsail track, put a little silicone on it, because of course we haven't used it since we left San Andres, so it was a little sticky. So far everything's good. Not expecting any bad weather, so we still have our little air conditioner on deck because we'll probably use it when we're in the marina because it's very hot in the marina, there's no breeze. But you can see I've got one of my adjustable truck straps on it and that holds it down really stable. So we haven't had any issues with that. We just got to make sure we don't take any waves over the bow or we're going to have a big problem. <laughs> but I'm not expecting anything like that, so touch wood. Okay, other than that. Ready? Yeah, it's time to start the engine. So if you guys want to come back, I'll show the crew how the engine controls work. Okay, and we are, we'll go. Uh, we go and another sailing coming. Another sailboat coming in? Yeah. Okay. Alright, let's get the engine warming up. Engine controls are down here. Coming guys to check, to see. Now, before we introduce the noise of the engine, the first thing we're going to do is we always check our steering. Now, we've had the rudder repaired now, so we don't have to worry about that, but I always go side to side, full side, just to make sure that nothing in storage below has become entangled or moved in the storage locker. So you can even watch on the autopilot here, and you'll see that there's a middle gauge right there. And as I turn the wheel to left, you'll see the red becomes, it's moving to port. So that is the actual rudder moving to port. So we're going to move that all the way to port. Boom, it's at stop. And I just start moving. And then all the way back to starboard, at which point you'll see the gauge will start to go green. Right there. So we take it all the way to 30 degrees, boom. And it's at stop again. So that's good. We bring it back up to top dead center. Well, yeah, yeah. Right there now. So now the wheel is centered. It's ready to go. And now we look to the engine. So obviously these are going to change because we have a new engine hopefully coming in the next few months. But this one is the switch to turn on the ignition system. So just turn that down. And the start button. And there we go. Okay, so this is the new throttle system we've just installed. So we don't want to put it in gear yet. We just want to rev it up a little bit to warm up. So you pull it out just like so, and then push forward, or reverse. Either way, it will just give you throttle. So we're just gonna put it up here a little bit. If you want to go into forward, you have to pinch this knob in here, and then push forward. And you'll see out the back that we got our propulsion from the propeller. Okay. okay. So I'll put that back in neutral. Pinch it again, go back to reverse. Bring us back a little bit and back in neutral. We're not using the gear yet, so I'm just going to pull that out and let it warm up. Right there. So now, anchor is next. So if you want to bring up the snubber, yeah. then we are good to start bringing it up. Somebody of you want to do? Yeah, you want to show them how to do that. Like last time, push the button and wait, and the light is red. Now it's red. Mm -hmm. We we go up a little bit the anchor. And now here is the snubber. We remove the snubber. <laughs> okay. This is go inside. Like here. Okay, it's not very move. And we wait the captain, then he give us the okay for go go up for the Okay, engine's running, so now we're gonna boot up the navigation system, which I've already turned on. 
So for today we're going to select our chart and rater combination. Okay, you can see it coming up there now. We are still in Portobello, as you can see, anchored right there. You can zoom in. And you can see a little bit of our anchor rotation pattern. Got the radar on, so you can see all the boats in the anchorage that are around us. And this is our shot with all of the boats at anchor behind us that we see on the radar system. And we are pointed out the bay right now because that's where the wind is coming from, basically from the west, which of course is right where we want to go, so it's not very helpful, but we're going to pray for a wind shift. So we're going to zoom out a little bit here. And you see I've already come over here. And right there, this is the entrance to the Panama Canal. So that's the entrance there. We've already got waypoint seven. And yes, I've already got it set to go to waypoint seven, which is that entrance to the Panama Canal. And right now it's saying it's going to take three days to get there because of course we're not moving. But our bearing to waypoint is 247 magnetic, distance to waypoint 18 nautical miles. And we're almost in a straight line from there, so it should be about three to four hours, unless of course we're sailing. Because yeah, we are going to try sailing today if at all possible, but it's very light air, so it might end up taking us a, <laughs> a full day sail just to go 18 miles, so I'm not sure about that yet. But let's see what we've got over here on the wind gauge. We've got seven knots, so very light air, and of course it's off the bow because we're at anchor. But if you look up, that's right where we want to go because right over there is to the west and we're just going to be following that coast down towards uh, Shelter Bay Marina. So you can bring the chain up to 60 feet and hold, okay, Maddie? Ah, uh, 60? Bring it up to 60 and hold. Okay. All right. Uh, where is the bucket? All the way down. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Wait, did I help you? <laughs> so close. No, okay. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, now we take some sea water before then he start to move the boat okay in the back how much how full do you want it like this is only for remove the, the okay. most of the mold yeah in the meantime we go up of 60 feet okay 60 Okay, thumbs up on the anchor, we good to ready? Okay, I'll start bringing us up. Forward. on deck. Yeah. All right, I'll let you clean them out a little bit. And I will get us back on our way. All good on deck. Yeah. What do you think? Is it possible to remove the most of the motor up the anchor before then dry? Right. With another... Usually I drag it in the water to do that. If we 
just if we just let the anchor drag a little bit in the water as we're coasting forward, it just runs the, the mud off of the anchor before we bring it back on deck. Just like a soap. And we bring it up slowly and just lock it in place. And that's good. That's got most of it off. The rest of it we can wash off with the hose when we're at the marina. Tiki ready to go sailing? Yeah? I'll take that as a yes. Hey, pretty girl. Good girl. Alright, as we say goodbye to Portobello been very good to us this time. The weather was actually really nice most of the time. Yeah, we are so happy about it. wasn't pouring down rain the whole time. Okay, mainsail is straight upwind as we can see. Not sure what that is, but it looks interesting enough. Some kind of utility vehicle. somebody else with the same idea as us today but definitely on a better wind angle. We were supposed to get north northwest today but we're getting west which of course we're heading west southwest so not a very good wind angle for us unfortunately. Hopefully it improves. How are we doing, Skipper? Uh, Temperature looks okay? Uh, well, we are at 100 and... <laughs> wow, those... Yeah, it should still be fairly cool because we're not up to temperature yet. So, this one is 100 and this one is 150. Correct. So okay. we're at about, what, 120? So that would be 125. It'll yeah. come up to 150 fairly quickly and then hopefully it stabilizes. If it starts shooting up past 170, then we know we got a problem. Yeah, okay. that's the engine temperature. So it should always be, if it's straight up and down, we're overheating because that's 200 degrees and it should always be below 180. Okay. So right now it's about 120. It's just started, so it's just warming up. Oh, we got a sailboat anchored over there today. That's interesting. And behind the reefs, where that's about where we were for lunch. We have another sailboat. The engines all go around. We're used to being like here. Yeah. Okay. You see which one's the main sheet? Right. It's a little bit loose right now, but we can tighten it in because we're going to be hard on the wind from the looks of it. So if you want to tighten it down. Pull it back until you can't pull it anymore and then put two wraps on the winch. Okay. Yep. Now wrap it on the winch. And then through the lock. Yeah. There you go. Give it a pull. Yeah. And winch handles right here. So we don't need too much, but just winch it down a little bit. Okay, that's good. That way it doesn't swing around and as soon as we get out of the bay we'll see if uh, we're about to clear that point. Hopefully we see a wind shift. Otherwise, not going to be doing much sailing today.
Unless we want to sail straight out into the ocean. I don't know, these guys want to play chicken. <laughs> the guy's on his phone instead of watching where he's going. It's because they're blessed. That's what it says. Uh-huh. A boat called blessed can't have an accident. On the phone. Okay, so we're about one hour out so far. Still motoring, but the wind has shifted slightly around to our starboard bow, which is nice, because that's gonna put us a little bit more on our target. Engine is holding perfectly around 150, 160, which is also very nice. But I think we are going to be able to do a bit of motor sailing right now, just to test it. If we try and sail, we're either gonna be pointed straight to our shore, or we're gonna be pointed out to sea, because it's very light wind. As you can see here, we actually were doing about five, well, no, speed over ground, we must have just hit a current. We were doing five knots, there you go. But our wind has shifted around to about 30 degrees off the starboard bow, which is nice, but it's still only 12 knots, and we're doing almost six of that. So we only have real, like, true wind of about six knots. So not a lot, but it can still help give us some lift. So, thinking we might as well put out the jib, see if we can get a little bit of lift from the jib, and that'll maybe take us a little bit faster in our direction, and uh, if the wind does shift around a little bit more to starboard, then it should be perfect. We should be able to just sail there without having to use the motor. So, that would be very nice. But as per right now, yeah, our mission is just to get there safely and get tied up and set up so that we can get our stuff worked out tomorrow. Not really looking to just sail off out to sea for no reason and then risk getting back in and have a problem with the engine before we try and get into the marina. That wouldn't be smart at this point. So we are just going to take it easy on everything and get there. I thought I'd you guys to help with opening the jib if you want. Oh yeah. We're gonna do a little motor assisted sail for now because we got the wind on a more favorable angle. Uh, it didn't it wouldn't pay to try and just sail right now unless we wanted to sail way out there, <laughs> which I don't or right in there, which I don't either. So, if you want to just take one wrap off, okay, you get ready to pull that. Gotcha. And I'll start letting it out from this side. Okay. Ready? Yep. that and here is the winch handle looks like it's still a little loose but well, we're gonna get a little wind yeah, we'll get a little bit of wind in it so yeah keep going ah. if it's too hard clock counterclockwise go clockwise there you go okay that's about as tight as we're gonna get it any more than that should become a little inefficient. Well, we'll see if that gives us any additional lift. Still only 30 degrees, so it's not going to do a lot, but every little bit helps. Yay!
bring us down about five degrees. We don't want to go too low because our bearing delay point is 237. Right now we're tracking 240. So we'll bring it down a little bit. And we're going to try and bring the wind a little bit more on our starboard side. But you can also see that we can sheet our mainsail to windward a little bit also. So. We'll release the port side. Put a couple of wraps on the starboard side. And sheet it to windward. You can see the traveler coming across right here. And we're just bringing that up to bring the boom on the center line. If we look at size, we want to meet as clean a shape as possible. You can see the jib is still luffing a little bit because it's a little bit too far on the wind, but not much we can do with that unless we head for shore. So we'll let it hold like that for now. I've backed off the throttle a little bit. And we're still doing 5.6, 5.5. So using less fuel, doing the same speed and getting a little bit more lift from the engine because when I stop the throttle a little bit we also bring the apparent wind aft so we're now down to about 40 degrees so that's helping also. That wind's moved around the bow a little bit again. Jib luffing. But you can see we've got rain on the bow there, rain over here, <laughs> rain over there. So even though the wind is coming from over there all of this from the mountains is still pushing back this way. Look at all this rain here, that's a lot. And Portobello back behind us. Lots of moisture right here, all beside us. Hopefully it stays over there. So that we can definitely do with it. Lots of rain. Yeah, that's looking a little better. The jib is smoothed out a little bit more. The apparent wind has moved slightly more starboard. Uh oh, I heard thunder. Yeah, me too. That's not good. It's foul. Yeah, we've slowed down a little bit, 4.9. But I've also brought the throttle back a little bit more. I'm going to bring it back to neutral and just see what happens. See if she'll maintain or if we die. <laughs> All the best clouds and back there too. Yeah, but they are far away to us. Yeah, look. It is more... Portobello, can you tell? <laughs> look, it's yeah. all black clouds, the whole mountainside. Wow. Yeah. Oh, look at the rain over here. Mm -hmm. Luckily, that's downwind of us. Coastal Panama. And luckily, we are still in sunshine flag is flying and so is the sail. It's a little bit tight, but let's crack it off just a hair, round it out a bit. Just a bit because we're in light air. Okay, that looks a little bit better and still holding shape. But of course, yes, we've dropped off to three knots. Our apparent wind has moved aft, as you can see, so we're at 45 to 50 degrees now, which is you know, better, except that our apparent wind has also dropped to nine knots, and we're making three and a half of that, so still true wind of only six knots. Not great, but not horrible. We're moving, but that's why I say we're probably still gonna motor sail for a little while, otherwise we'll be out here all day. So we'll give it a little touch, and we'll keep going, searching for more wind. But our temperature is still holding just over 150, so that's good also. And you can see we are just skating along the coast. Nothing on radar, but you can see there's the weather right there. It's all red. So this is the coastal outline here. Those are the rain clouds, and they're showing up here as weather, distinct weather patterns in the red. Yeah, did you guys see that, how on the radar it identifies moisture in red? 
So it's showing you that's different than just land mass. That's actual, that's humidity, moisture, clouds, storms heading our way. Weather's changed a bit since we left, huh? Mm -hmm. It's coming for us. Definitely, if we look here, yeah, look. <laughs> There's one band coming off the mountains, coming right out in front of us, look at that. Even though the wind's coming from over here, the weather's being dragged out of it and circulating right in front of us. We got a red cloud right there, that's all moisture. So that's right up in front. And yep, I can already feel the rain, so... It's definitely coming for us.
Port so Authority, bright. Port Authority, Port Authority. Sailing vessel, sophisticated lady, sophisticated lady, channel one, two, over. Yes, yeah. sailing vessel. Are you going to Shelter Bay? That is correct, sir. We were going to Shelter Bay and noticed an obstacle on our way. Just wondering if you had any instruction, over. Yes, no sales allowed for sailing inside of the Great Park, sir. So please uh, just proceed on your engines. Yes, we are under engine. We just still have our mainsail up. We're about to drop it, but just wanted to verify where you wanted us to go, over. That is correct. We're proceeding to Shelter Bay Marina and we are under motor. We're just about to drop our mainsail over. Okay, copy that. We proceed around the southbound side and then turn back up towards Shelter Bay. Yeah, you just need to clear the dredge. The dredge which is on your power bow, you need to clear and proceed south of the dredge and then you can turn inside of the anchorage and proceed to Shelter Bay. Okay, copy that, sir. Thank you very much. We're going to turn to starboard just right now to drop our mainsail, and then we'll go around the dredge. Sophisticated lady standing by, channel 1-2. Thank you. Okay, let's drop the mainsail. Yeah. Coming up wind. It's a lot bigger than us. <laughs> we feel like tiny. Yeah, <laughs> Wow, I mean, that thing just appeared out of nowhere. Yeah, but two wow. we, three weeks ago that we leave, the, we left Shelter Bay, it was not here. It's moving along. Yeah, it's fast. Oh, yeah. Get that engine working. I know it still does. Do you have a lot of power, Eddie? I know. That good, Eddie? A little more. A little more, Rick. Okay. Stop it. Eddie, if you want to have this in this. Yes. How are you, Manny? Fine. Welcome back. Huh? Yeah, we grow in two. Oh. Yeah. Okay, lindo. Ah. Hi, how are Hi, you? Hi, how are you? How's, how's the oven going? Good. It's going? Yeah, it's going. <laughs> I told you make a gift to Hadi of your shoes. Normally you have the pandan. <laughs> See, I'm supposed to be on my day off, so I wear flip flops. <laughs> and then he calls me because I got to Be careful, you remember for the flip flops. How's it going, Rick? Welcome back. Yeah, man. Thank you, Eddie. No, 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 no. Good to see you guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Perfectly planned. Both both at the same time. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely need an aft spring on the bow. Tighten that one up. Yeah, just is better. We want it to be right about here. Yeah, it's just better. 
Great job. All right, this should be good for you to get up and down now. You just got to watch that rope, okay? Yeah, okay. But you're good, so I'm shutting down the engine. Perfect. We park it. Tiki, you recognize this yeah. sound? Mm -hmm. eh? We arrive in Shelter Bay Marina. Not for a long time. We come back to Sally very soon. Hey, if you guys Thank want you. to get out the power cord, you know the big yellow power cord? Mm -hmm. Now we're going to hook that up here and down to the tower off our bow. Oh, I condition a canyon. <laughs> <laughs> well, how did I know somebody would be happy? Uh -huh. Guys, in dark the power. Yeah. Tell them we wait a long time for this. <laughs> yeah, I can believe. Wow. Oh, it's very big, yeah. Oh, two pallets. Oh, two pallets. Wow, great. Okay. okay. All right, we are stoned, locked and loaded, ready to go, yeah. in business. <laughs> Finally. Yeah, very big truck. time on this ship and we finally got it so thank you very much e propulsion you guys got it looked after and uh, it's gonna be an interesting experiment from here yeah. looking forward to checking this stuff out <laughs> it's gonna be awesome